How you doing, everybody? Grab a cup of coffee and just think about this. When we know that something's coming up, should we tell the customers ahead of time or should we not tell the customers ahead of time? We're going to flush this out. We're going to use some current events to do so. Stick with us. Thanks for tuning in. Hey, everybody. How you doing? Jeff Mason, your host, coming to you from St. Louis, Half Coast Studios. Maddie Dietz behind the board, Mr. Producer, Mr. Programmer. Oh, my gosh, these guys are great. The color, the sound, crisp and just wonderful. So I hope you enjoy the experience uh, if you're listening. Hey, if you're watching on YouTube, man, if, and you have not subscribed, we would love your subscription. Go to the lower right-hand portion of your screen, hover over that cursor, Boom, you get right in and you can uh, subscribe there. Or we're on 27 different audio platforms. Take your pick. We'd love to have you join every week. Thursday mornings, about 7.30 a.m. Central is when we come out. We're also on IGTV. So, hey, and enjoy. And uh, we just want to uh, thanks for tuning in today. Coming to you from St. Louis, Missouri. So we hope all is well out there. And we're going to use some current events today. What are we going to really flush out is, you know, how much information do we share but the real with customers but the real question is um think about it in terms of preparing your customers so you know little or big news do you prepare them with the little stuff or just the big stuff um what is it good bad and ugly when um how do you do it text messages do you do it you know put it up on your website do you put it up on uh, your social media platforms, do you email them directly? Do you call them? How do you do it? Um, you know, and then how many details do you really stuff in there? Do you give them all the McGill or not? And let's, let's use a set of current events that's happening right now that is starting to affect all of us. And at the time of this uh, show taping, it's probably less aggravated than the time uh, you are watching this, but it's supply chain management. So what's happening out there, if you're not um, tuning into this, there is a lot of supply chain disruption across the globe. So for those of you who aren't in the business genre day to day, it may sound like a foreign term, it goes in and out, you know, in one ear, out the other, but it's really, you know, everything from the raw materials, timing and sourcing, getting it to the factory, the production of it, and then the shipment of it and the transportation of it from the factory, wherever it is, to uh, your, your individual distribution center or the customer's distribution center. And we have seen really a lot of craziness start to occur in the last three months. And what it's done is it's caused many of us, and as many of you know, I, I run a sales agency, so I operate um, a sales agency, Upper Midwest. I deal with, uh, uh, I'm the brand representative for about seven different com companies. And, you know, I got a cache of customers that want updates, want to know what's going on, want to know how they can manage their businesses more effectively. So we're engaging in this share the information process, share the updates the best we can. And, you know, the ultimate question, I think, the ultimate answer to that question is yes, we should be sharing this information with our customers. Um, we should be giving them what they deserve. You've always heard me say this, not what they want or what they need necessarily, but you think about them. You sit in your office, you sit, you know, you roll around trying to go to sleep at night, you sit in your car as you're driving. Ask yourself a set of serious questions. If I were my customer, what would I want to know? And then you tailor your um voluntary updates and information, you tailor it to what you know your customers deserve to hear so that they can manage their businesses effectively. And it's ugly in, uh, right now. It really is. Uh, it's ugly to the point I've had conversations just as of yesterday. Um, we have no idea when we're getting certain products from suppliers. I deal with one company that relies on steel. We have no idea when we're getting the steel. None. That's a raw material. We need to finish a product. I can't tell a customer when we're going to give them their orders. I have, I have hundreds of thousands of dollars of orders piled up. Can't do anything with it. Can't, you know, it's frustrating to everybody. So these customers want to know. Why do they want to know? Well, you know what? Sometimes you're going to say, hey, Jeff, gosh, no disrespect to you or your company. I got to cancel my orders with you. This vendor has a bunch of stuff 
that I can buy right now off their shelf and service my customers. And think about, think about that statement from one of your customers. What are they really saying? They're saying, hey, look, I got to keep the lights on in my place. I got to pay the bills for my family. I have to do what I have to do to make customers ring my cash register every day. So you've got to give them that heads up ability. You've got to give them that chance to make decisions that will affect them. Now, I think this is short term, I hope. I hope supply chain issues and stress is not long term. But um, you know what? These people will respect you. They will. They will say glowing things about you. They will give you good reviews to their friends, to their associates, to their other business partners, to neighbors, relatives, whoever, because you're equipping them with information that's vital to them managing their businesses effectively. So if you think of it through that lens, it's a healthy perspective and one that's very partnership oriented and very much desired by customers. If you don't think so, you're shortchanging yourself. So just think about today's environment as you see the pictures of all the vessels stacking up, you know, outside Long Beach and you see them stacking up uh, at the other ports across the USA and you hear about all these issues and you look at Singapore and you look at China and you look at all these, you know, sea alleys that are just sitting there with vessels waiting. I mean, I, I've, got, I've got a container that today is it's in its 50th day in storage in the Pacific Northwest hasn't moved. Nobody can even give us a reason why. It's got orders on there for customers that should have shipped almost, well, two months ago. Nothing I can do. Um, nothing we can do. It's, we're, we're, we're really at a, at a loss right now. So, so try to be proactive and, and, and prepare your customers just little by little, if you will, and uh, they will appreciate it. So, so a little uh, just you know, short show out of a set of current events today. And we're going to dip into a really cool uh, Lost in a Shuffle track again, 1966, episode 105. We were in 1966 with the Yardbirds. Now we're going to dip into a little different. It's a pop singer. It's R&B. It's, um, it's a little bluesy. Dusty Springfield, probably with Petula Clark, one of the uh, biggest female acts to enter into the British invasion. And she brought us just some great tunes, great tunes. But there is one that I just fell in love with, and it's not one of her more popular ones, but it's called Little by Little. So just as we give our customers little bits of information that can help them manage their business more effectively, let's dip into Dusty Springfield, British Invasion, 1966, Little by Little. And remember, guys, Please, always do your own research. There's so much information out there. Quack, quack, move. There's so much stuff you can find. All you need to do is start looking for it. And please, be a truth teller. We want the truth. Vendors, customers, everybody wants the truth. Be a truth teller. Uh, please, also, just consider, turn on a podcast. Turn off the TV cable news. It's really, turn it off. It's, you've been listening to it for way too many years. Start looking at some other news. Start hearing some cool shows. Turn a podcast on. And you know what? Grab your Bible, open it up, start to read it, pray, and always love the Lord God with all your heart, mind, and soul. We will see you in 168 hours. Thanks.